Hello friends, how are you doing today? Whatever you think that you will be, if you think weak yourself, weak you will be. If you think strong yourself, strong you will be. Swami Vivekananda. So many of our subscribers asked about this question like, um, how do I change my career path uh, from whatever the work I have been doing to solution architect? Okay. Um, most of the questions are from uh, software developers and um, uh, DevOps engineers and some questions are from uh, system admin. Okay, so these three are the major category of the people ask this question how I can move to solution architect role. Okay, uh, so before uh, getting on to this topic in detail, I just wanted to explain a little bit about solution architect. Okay, so basically the solution architect is a broader category. You can see like a solution architect, uh, maybe a application solution architect. You can see solution architect as a um, platform solution architect, and you can see solution architect as a uh, infrastructure solution architect. Okay, so basically, um, if you are um, doing the work of application developer or senior application developer role, and you are uh, uh, developing an application with multiple layers like UI layer, middle layer, database layer, batch jobs all those steps and um, you create solution for the application right and uh, you will get a problem in form of application and you will be providing solution to address that problem as a application solution architect okay so in that role suppose if you are uh, working as a senior uh, application developer and you you would like to uh, transform your uh, career to solution architect I would suggest to go for uh, application solution architect. Okay, uh, do not uh, start taking any certifications related to infrastructure or cloud solution architect certification, um, all those stuff. Plan your career in such a way that uh, there are certification in the AWS and other cloud service providers as well, specifically for the developers. Okay, so go for um, um, application architect, application solution architect. Or application developer um, in a cloud role so that you can provide solution to the application problems okay and um, some of our friends are uh, doing this uh, DevOps role like a DevOps engineer platform uh, engineer all those roles so they also wanted to go for um, solution architect role so how they can uh, transform their role from uh, the current uh, work of DevOps engineer or platform engineer to solution architect, they can uh, start doing the uh, solution uh, provision work, something like that. Like in case uh, if your uh, application team is coming and asking you to set up a DevOps or platform uh, for that application to run fine, you have to provide different types of solution for that application to run in uh, that application to run fine in the platform right so for example uh, if your application team is coming and asking your help to you as a development engineer or platform engineer what you would suggest is like uh, hey where do you want to run your application workload do you want to run the application workload in kubernetes or do you want to run the application workload in uh, open shift uh, or these kind of platform, how do you uh, configure the CI/CD pipeline? How do you do an automated deployment? All those setup, how do you do? So these kind of uh, questions you may ask to the um, application development team, and uh, if they if they answer your question, hey, I wanted to go for a, a GitOps um, deployment model with OpenShift, and uh, or if they wanted to deploy their workload into Kubernetes. So uh, you will provide the solutions according to your their ask, right? So in that case, you will be considered as a platform solution architect, or you can be called as um, um, a DevOps solution architect. Okay. So in these cases, you will be uh, providing solutions um, not to the application problems, but for the platform problems, right? So you in that case, you will be called as platform solution architect. So how do you be um, becoming a platform or uh, tools or DevOps solution or that uh, is like uh, you have to get involved in this type of work like when you when the application development comes and ask you like how do we uh, set their application workload in uh, any platform or uh, any DevOps world 
you should provide the solution start working on that get more hands on on providing this type of solution to your application team okay and along with that uh, what you do is just uh, focus on getting any uh, kubernetes uh, developer certification or uh, open shift administrator or developer certification and uh, uh, learn about uh, devops tools and uh, technologies so that uh, you can provide solution to all the platform and devops solutions so you will become um, platform or devops solution architect okay so the third category is system admin so basically uh, in your legacy environment what happens uh, in your uh, on prem environment there will be a system admin and if you are a system admin and you would like to proceed your career in uh, system um, from system admin to infrastructure solution architect you should be knowing more about uh, infrastructure components okay learn more about uh, servers uh, cpu memory and the configuration of these items and also like storage uh, storage products and uh, when the platform team comes and ask you the solution like how to set up the platform in the infrastructure you will be providing the solution according to their uh, requirement okay so as development team comes to the platform team to ask uh, uh, help to set up their application uh, the platform team comes and ask you to, to uh, provide some kind of solution to set up their platform in the infrastructure okay so when you do uh, or when you provide this type of solutions to the platform team to set up their platform in an infrastructure you will become a infrastructure solution architect okay so suppose if you are um, currently uh, if, your, if your role is currently the system admin and if you are configuring uh, memory cpu and systems uh, for uh, the platform to run fine uh, you should be continue doing that and also along with that uh, start learning about uh, all the infrastructure component infrastructure services in the cloud service providers whatever may be the cloud service provider you are um, your company is uh, taking path to learn all the infrastructure services components and uh, make sure that you know how to provide solution to the platform team uh, for uh, them to set up right platform and solve their problem as a infrastructure solution architect okay so this way you can get experienced with uh, this type of uh, solution provisioning and also you can transform your system simple system admin role to uh, infrastructure solution architect role okay so this way um, you can fine tune your career from uh, the current work to a solution architect role okay uh, always keep in mind that uh, the solution architect is not a single category it's a broader category it depends on where you work on okay if you are working as a developer you can still become a solution architect but your work will be related to only the application development application setup all those steps and if you are working as a devops engineer or uh, if you are setting up our platform tool for your application to run fine you continue doing that some work and uh, get more knowledge and experience in providing solution for the platform team to set up their platform architecture clearly okay so that you will become a platform solution architect and uh, finally uh, when it comes to infrastructure if you are doing a system admin work and setting up all the uh, systems to uh, run uh, run the platform very very well and on top of the platform the application to run very well you are setting up the base right continue doing that work and also make sure that you learn additional uh, infrastructure solutions infrastructure component uh, and get certified with any cloud uh, service providers uh, specifically on the infrastructure components and learn about infrastructure architecture all those steps and uh, continue providing the solution infrastructure so that you will be called as a infrastructure solution architect and you can get uh, more uh, job opportunities in that area as a infrastructure solution architect okay so i hope um, you might have got about uh, the three major categories of solution architecture and also how uh, you can transform your career from the current career uh, to the solution architect career in the respective uh, area where you are working okay i have provided some of the links uh, specific to the application solution architect and platform solution architect and infrastructure solution architect 
you can follow that links and get more details about uh, uh, the role that you wish to proceed in your uh, career and also uh, some of the links for taking the certification so that you can fine tune your career to become a solution architect okay um, that's all about uh, the solution architecture and career role today guys um, take care and uh, if you like this video give a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe take care bye